What makes quote unquote good vocals? Um, I like when vocals are sort of, um, you know, open to interpretation. So, you know, like for example, faux free is I don't give it up faux free. You're saying that, but the big question is what exactly is it? Like, what are you not giving up faux free? It's not explicit about like one thing or another. It's just sort of open-ended. And, you know, I try and do that in a lot of cases. I'm trying to think of like other tracks that I can mention right now that aren't out yet, but, um, not explicitly going out and saying stuff. Like if you want to make references to doing certain things, um, I've always found that like, you know, hinting at it is hinting at it in a clever way is a little bit more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy is a great example of that. See, sometimes I just forget songs I wrote, like completely just forget. I totally forgot about that track. Um, yeah, open-ended vocals are cool because eventually it's going to click. Like it's going to take people, so maybe it'll take people a few listens to realize what you're talking about, you know. And if I had a list of all my tracks right here, I could probably go through and tell you like some of the, uh, some of the tracks that I've done that before on where it kind of, sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, um, time for it to click. And I think that's really cool because once you do realize what someone is talking about in a vocal track, then, you know, it kind of makes you like it even more. And um, like I said, Babysitter and tracks where you actually have um, uh, like a lot, a lot, a lot of vocals. Those can be, those can be good, but sometimes people will write these tracks with a lot of vocals that they're saying a lot of words, but they're not saying very much. You know what I mean? Like they're saying a lot of things. They're they're taking up a lot of sonic space with their vocals that really aren't contributing much as far as creating the vibe you're going for. Um, uh, creating some sort of like emotion, and you know, that's hard to do in our um, in our line of music. I feel like writing vocals that are going to evoke emotion in this that aren't singing. It's 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 a lot easier to write vocals that will evoke an emotional response if you're like writing like actual sung vocals, which I don't do. Yet, sometimes I try, but, you know, I don't sing, so it may be one day if I ever get in there with, like, a female vocalist or a male vocalist who can sing, we can do something a little more melodic and stuff. But I'm talking about just in terms of writing, like, these stupid vocal samples that I, that I do where I just throw effects on me talking. Um, you have to figure out how to be, uh, how, how do you, how, like, have an economy of words, you know? Try and say what you're trying to say in like the least amount of time possible, unless you're in a situation that's calling for like extended vocals. And another thing too, that I've kind of strived for that now that I'm thinking of Laffy Taffy is not an example of this is trying to keep your tracks um, gender neutral. So instead of just like talking about like being a guy talking about girls or being a girl talking about guys or just something like that, um, I try to keep it as universal as possible. So you're not necessarily singing about a guy or a girl, or if you are singing about a guy, you are you have vocals about a guy then in turn later in the track you do, you do the same thing but in reference to a girl so you know i'm tr like you're trying to make this as widely accessible as possible and you're not trying to exclude anybody because i mean yeah everybody loves being included um and that's kind of that kind of makes it difficult because a lot of people you know 
um, like people who write vocals about girls' asses nonstop. Like, I don't know. That to me just, it gets old. And I don't know, but if I was a girl and uh, I was listening to an artist and all they ever talked about was like girls' asses and going to the club and picking up girls, that would, I would get pretty bored of that. And, you know, we have more than enough of those. We have more than enough of those artists. Um, so, you know, this does make it tough to write vocals when <laughs> I'm placing so many restrictions on myself. But, you know, I think it's worth it in the end because there is a lot of artistry involved in doing something that's different that's going to be effective and that's not just falling into these same uh, tropes that a lot of artists can quite easily write vocals that will be passable like it, it, you can easily get away with writing a, a vocal about like this girl's fat ass you know but is that is that really contributing anything? Is that really like, I don't know. I just feel like that's, that's a cop out sometimes. And you know, that we've got more than enough tracks about that kind of stuff in this scene in many other genres. So, you know, just try and do something different. And, you know, there are several like, like, and here's when we get into what I consider bad vocals. There's no such thing as bad vocals. I mean, sometimes there is, but maybe like technically bad, but in terms of just like vocals that I would stay away from doing, it's just like, there's certain themes that I feel like are just rampant in our scene. And, you know, like the ones that come to mind are, like I said, booties, girls asses, um, you know, just like partying, um uh let's see the club i wrote a track about the club in like 2017 but this has been like my philosophy in the last couple years last three years or so um she got a big old booty that's a that's a hot track though and you know let's see um the club uh Smoking weed uh, and house music, house music, vocals about house music. Uh, I mean, that's almost like a meme in itself. It's like it's not a it's not a real house track unless it has vocals about house music. Or did you really even make an acid house track if you didn't have a vocal about acid in it? It's like I don't know. We know what we're listening to. We don't have to. We don't have to hear about house music this, house music that, like, especially on Twitter, like, seeing people post things about like, oh, like, house music is the answer. Oh, I just, like, I love house music so much. You see these tweets, they get like hundreds of likes, and it's like, really? It's just, I don't understand it. Yeah, house is cool. House is sick. House isn't even really that sick, to be honest. House is pretty whatever in most cases. Um, but... You know, that, that, those are just themes that I feel like if I make a track and that's what my like main premise is, um, it's, 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 it's not going to be memorable, you know, 